I think we're going to have another trip to Nottingham on the train in our future. But this time we'll take yeah. Anna. No, no. She seems to think we're not. Yeah, you go. You're on board. Do you want Mummy to come next time? Yeah. No. Mail. <laughs> Mail. 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 and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is going to be looked back on in years to come as a significant vlog. I have my fit book to hand that we picked up over the weekend. I have my protein shake ready. I have my PE kit ready to go. Oh, I know some of you hate it when I collect my PE kit, but I have my PE kit ready to go. We're heading to the gym. It is 12 weeks today that we go to Disneyland Paris and in 12 weeks time, I am going to be two stone lighter, I have decided. I weighed myself yesterday, I am the heaviest I've been in my entire life. Which doesn't seem like a reason for celebration and positivity, but it is. It gives me a starting point. It means I can only improve from here, surely. I am currently 22 stone 13 pounds, I think. Which, whatever it is, it worked out at 320 pounds, pretty much on the nose. By the time we go to Disney, I'm going to be under 300 pounds. I'm going to lose two stone. I am going to... I'm basically going to be the weight I was when I started this supposed weight loss vlog over two years ago. Which, that's less positive and exciting. But it all begins here. I'm going to go and pick Anna up from work in a second. I can't find her PE kit, so we're going to have to come back here and grab that quickly before we go on to the gym. Um, obviously, for you watching this, it's pancake day as well. So, tomorrow we're going to have pancakes. I can't not have pancakes. By the way, question of the day down in the comments. What's the best thing to have on pancakes? Is it sugar and lemon? Is it just sugar? Is it syrup? Is it Nutella? Do you like thin English style, crepe style pancakes. Do you like the big fat American pancakes? There's so many pancake related questions we could ask. Tell us your dream pancake scenario down in the comments. I can't believe I've gone from, I'm gonna be fit and healthy to let's eat bad food in 30 seconds. That might explain why I'm fat. But I'm feeling good, I'm feeling motivated. I'm gonna go and get Anna, we're gonna to go to the gym. And I promise you, and I promise myself, when we're having this conversation again in 12 weeks time as we're getting in the car ready to head to france for disneyland i will be under 300 pounds or else i'm not going maybe i don't think the family will let me get away with that but i'll punish myself if i don't meet this goal well i started a new program today and i don't know if i've ever felt so much like my buttocks are being kicked, as I just have from that. I feel like a broken man. Anna's going, mmm, because she doesn't realize I'm talking to the camera. Now I'm making my pretty little milkshake that makes it all better. I know there's gonna be a chorus of people saying, Kev, you're a big fat guy. You don't need protein shakes. It's just calories you don't need. I disagree. You read all of the you read all of the stuff online about what macro split that you should be looking towards doing to lose weight and the focus is always on protein and even if I try and have one gram of protein per pound of body weight which is relatively on the low side I would not get anywhere near that with food or food plus shakes but having the shakes at least gets me a little bit closer so that I keep some protein in. I don't, what I don't want to be doing is cut down my food and lose muscle because that then is completely against what I'm trying to achieve because that makes it harder to lose weight, harder to keep it off etc etc. So I get the disgusting shakes. Just nasty. I'm certainly not doing that because it tastes good. Right then folks, I'm sure you'll remember from a couple of weeks ago or a couple of days ago, whenever I said um, that we are going to, we are deliberately making strides towards getting more sponsors on the channel because of the uncertainty around everything that's going on on YouTube at the moment. And with that in mind, today's vlog does have a sponsor and today's sponsor is Kla. 
who make water filters. Now, the reason I have this young lady next to me is because water filters are a constant, <laughs> it's a constant battle in this house for Anna who grew up over in Nottingham where they have what you describe as normal water. Normal water. Normal water. Um, Drinkable com water. <laughs> coming over here into Lincolnshire where we have a lot of lime, limestone, is it, that makes the lime scale or whatever it Horrible, is. Horrible, We have very water. hard water around yes. here, don't we? That if, to, put that, to put it into some context, if we were to buy a new kettle, it would be unusable within about nine months because of the lime scale build up on it. Our washing machine, anything that, wa my coffee machine, anything that water goes in, very soon gets lime scaled up because our water around here is so hard the and lime scaly and bath. horribly. Yeah, yeah it's just everything. not very nice water. So that's why we always have a lot of bottled water. And Anna, you will not drink water straight out of the tap. It either has to be bottled or filtered, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. So, Car, our filter company and they've sent us a three and a half litre pitcher um, for us to unbox and have a go with and give the all important Anna taste test to see if this this jug thing can make water taste like normal water. So that's the goal you, isn't you it? You will think it's weird water. Well I don't too, I've never been a big fan of tap water I always drink bottled water so again I'll obviously be sampling it as well see what I think. So we've got a massive jug that is an enormous jug um, so we have a big jug with a lid that's been taped on. I'm obviously going to give this a bit of a wash before we fill it with water. It is massive. Though. Right now. There's the thing that goes in the top of it. I guess that's where you fill it up. I'm just uh, seeing. Yeah. There is an instruction manual. There you go. Thank you. And then we've got the actual filter unit itself here, which has got some significant oomph to it. Filter unit. Can I have a little look? It shifts the pH of water. 2.2% mineralization characteristics of ah here we go before you use so wash I will wash it hand wash the pitcher reservoir and lid with a natural detergent and water do not use the dishwasher we don't have one so that's fine it's um, called Kevin <laughs> yeah yeah that means you have, if you can't use the dishwasher that means you have to do it it specifically says do not use the dishwasher if I'm the dishwasher Go wash up the jug. I am not going in there. <laughs> step two, remove the filter from the wrapping bag. I did that before step one. Immerse the cartridge in tap water for one to two minutes. Shake it to remove any air bubbles. Remove the filter, place it under running water for two minutes and shake and repeat. Allow two full, full tanks of water to pass through the reservoir. Discard the water and use it for your plants. We don't have any plants. Go and buy some plants quickly. Or flowers. Okay, we'll water, we'll water the grass in the garden. Um, and then we assemble it, run it through again, and then it should taste like normal water. I'm gonna go and give this a wash and run it through all that stuff. And then we'll see, we'll be back in a moment, where we give the all important Anna's normal water taste test. Well, about 10 minutes have passed. And there we have, I mean, it is still, you can probably see it at the top, filtering through the last few well, bits. Well, it won't sort of through while that's No, right exactly, because it's got the thing in the top there, so it'll just be pouring out from the bottom. We've washed it, and we've run it through twice, and uh, now for the all-important taste test. Now, as long-time viewers will know, Anna has many food allergies. She's <laughs> lactose intolerant, she's gluten intolerant, therefore the only safe thing for a hipster like Anna to drink water out of is a mason jar. Luckily we have one on hand, so you can use your mason jar to try your filtered water to see if it tastes like Bear normal water. Bees. Yeah, um, but first, how about a good old glass of Peterborough's finest? Have to. You have to do a comparison, yeah. I'm going to get involved as well. I'll put a bit more in here so we can do a fair comparison. No. How would you describe what you've just tasted? This is your filtered one. Alkalined up. Oh, oh. Tastes like childhood and lime scale. Because <laughs> I grew up on that oh. water. I'm used to it. It tastes like day old water. Tastes, yeah. Better. What, like normal water? Yeah. Doesn't taste plasticky. It tastes like bottled water, but yeah, without the plasticky twang. I approve. You know your way around a water filter, Claire. Thank you very much for sending it to us. Thank you very much for sponsoring today's vlog. And uh, we're going to go and enjoy some delicious filtered normal water. Non twangy yeah, water. Yeah, non twangy water <laughs> out of our mason jars. Well, that's 
that's just been an interesting half hour or so. I've just recorded an interview with The Verge about the um, the whole issue with family channels and disabled comments and things like that that's going on at the moment. They said they'd try and get the article up today or tomorrow, so hopefully I by the time this vlog comes out, I do have the link to share with you of the article that they've written. If so, it'll be down in the comments. If not, it'll be in tomorrow's comments. I'll keep an eye on our Twitter or Facebook and we'll post it up there as well so you can, you can see the finished article. But it was... Uh, Quite a, quite a long, quite a satisfying chat. You know how I can waffle on about these kind of things. Goodness me, did I talk. So it'll be interesting to see how they fashion that together into a, an article that they can use. But um, I don't know if it's just us or a bunch of family vloggers as well, but it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. I like doing stuff like that. More of that, please, world. Uh, but it is now nearly four o'clock. Our food shopping is going to arrive any moment. Andy should be home in the house. So I'm going to head in there and check in on them. Well, I've just come in the house and it seems Anna's done the shopping by herself or as much as she can. She's a little bit broken. You've broken yourself at the gym today, haven't you? She's hurt the bottom of her back. Do we know what that's called? The area, so it's like it's, at the top of your buttocks, but it's spine. Like where the spine, no, but it's like the bit between the spine and the muscle. I don't know what it is. But yeah. yeah, and you, it was doing, you did an exercise where you sit on a chair and have to move your, squash your legs in or something, didn't you? She's hurt herself and then having to do all this by herself, she's hurt herself even more. Um, although, to be fair, she didn't have to do all this by herself because I could have come in and helped if I'd have known it was here. But it was supposed to be here at four and it's currently 3.56. So they came early, the monsters. And because I had my headphones in doing that interview, I didn't hear them arrive. And Andy is home, but he's gone upstairs. So we'll check in with Andy again in a little while. Meanwhile, I've put the injured lady over there in a chair and I'm going to get the rest of this stuff put away. Although, to be fair, it's mostly just Andy's crisps and pop at this point, so I've got the easy part of the job. <laughs> there we go, I found him eventually. What are you laughing at? <laughs> I'm very confused. Um, I've got dinner down my shirt, I apologise. I could have changed my shirt. Uh, I didn't. What's... Got Andy's charge. Ah, there you go. You got about four seconds of charge before he took his thing back. I found Andy! Hello! The male. Mm, male. Yes, it is male. He has been at, for like the last day and a half. Talking constantly about going to Nottingham on the train again. Yes, Mayo. hands out your trousers. Mayo. Ever since I took Mayo. him to Nottingham on the train during half term, it is all he wants to do. I think we're going to have another trip to Nottingham on the train in our future. But this time we'll take yeah. Anna. No, no. She seems to think we're not. Yeah, you go. You're on board. Do you want mummy to come next time? Yeah. No. Mail. <laughs> he didn't Mayo. Mayo. Did Mayo. Mayo. Mayo trip. Mayo. Boys Mayo trip to Nottingham. Mail pink one. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> so have you had a good day at school? Yeah. Splendid. Man. Is there man, new pyjamas? Man. Man. I don't recognise these pyjamas. You don't recognise it. Male! Man, man, male, male. Yeah, male piggy bum. Well, the trousers are completely invisible, so yeah. that's why I can't see them. Male. Because of the camouflage-ness. But we're going back to Nottingham soon, are we? Yeah. When shall we go? We'll go... I don't know when we'll go. We'll figure out a trip probably in the Easter holidays now, because we're only five weeks away from the Easter holidays at this on point. On Tuesday. So. Not on Tuesday, though. No. You have to go to school on Tuesday. Mail. Hands out your trousers. Oh, yeah. So he's, uh, it seems like last hungry. week. Was it last week or the week before? When was half term? I can hear the mail. The days blur together. I can hear the mail. You can hear the mail? Seems like the trip from over a week ago, apparently, was a success. Feels like that was just a couple of days ago. I'm very confused that that was more than a week ago. getting ready to dance. Down He's getting into his dancing position. Mayo go down. Down we go down, Mayo! Oh, very good. Mayo, 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 Mayo. Hang your head on that wall if you're not careful. Oh. Someone's got your pillow, do you know? That's the Mayo. Right, give me that. Give me that. You're revealing that we've still got shopping on the floor. Man. Monster of a dog. Man. Of course, I'm going to clear that up now, but I had to make dinner and stuff. Going up a Mayo. It's been a long day, it's been tiring. Going up mail again. Yes, where are we going up now? The mail piggy bog. 
<laughs> okay. So we've got Anna's phone. Um, Who should we ring? What we should do. Was it completely dead? Uh, I'm going to leave him to watch his TV show. We'll check it again in a little while. Mainly because I've got coffee brewing in the room. Check it, please. What are you watching now? Let's do this. He has been this loud and this quiet <laughs> all evening. He's now, it's like two hours since we last spoke. He's now watching QI. He's watching something about Bullseye. No, my shoes. On his iPad. What was it he said to you a minute ago? There you go, it was that, exactly that. It's not bullseye, you oh, fool. I don't know where it even comes from. That's better. What are you watching, Andy? What are you watching? Are you, watching? you know what to take me. Oh, oh, don't tell me you took too, too much for your wedding. Is it good? <laughs> oh, she's watching it, so it's wonderful. Uh, he's getting go. very, That's very excited about way. it. Still waving his chewy jam thing around as well. Wipeout! Are you kidding me? Poor Debbie's just gone! Take seven! He's yelling what they say in the video as well, so he's watched this video so many times. Yeah, he's memorised what the like person who made the video logo. said Probably all the way through. Which is uh, <laughs> so impressive. Work. Also, Anna's hiding. She thinks she's in frame at the moment, but she's not. But she's put a pillow there to hide. I don't know why. Um, we are going to end today's vlog here though. I do want your feedback Something on how the out. brand integration earlier on in the video Check went. Please. We went way over and above what we actually were contracted to do for the brand. Um, we were only supposed to do like a one minute, 90 second thing, but thinking about it, for me, content, uh, well, brand integration, sponsorship, things like that, are much more, in, it would have been much more intrusive if we'd have just done a 90 seconds, this is what it is, this is how it works, and done it like professionally. I think by stretching it out to like four minutes and making it into content and having a little bit of fun with it, hopefully, that to me, that seems like a better way to do it. But let me know your thoughts. If you'd rather we were just bang, 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 quick, get on with the rest of the video, let me know. Andy is shouting so loud. Um, but I think that will work quite well. And uh, at least Anna gets to drink normal water again. So thank you very much to Claire for sponsoring the video again. And uh, Andy's dancing to celebrate. So if you have enjoyed today's vlog, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us. Subscribe to the channel for more that's daily all, vlogs. Folks. And that's all, folks. No, you've got to end it properly. Do you want to do it then, Andy? Do you want to do the last bit? Don't go, you be. Are you going to say thank you very much for watching? Take one. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, it's on QA on now. It's on now. He insisted that I still did. Thank you very much. As soon as I turn the camera off, he started shouting it. And then as soon as I turn the camera back on again, didn't want to do it. So thank you very much.